okay the purpose of this video is kind of get started from scratch um, if you are new to scratch this is a very quick introduction for you so website is scratch.mit.edu so you kind of get this uh, uh, view right here is a join scratch you can create your account that way you can store your work you can finish to work, half back to work, anything uh, you want to show. Uh, one of the good thing about kind of uh, half baked ones is that you can share it with the class and everybody can start from that and finish the rest. You know, so that way students need not do everything. You know, you can do the baseline and then they can do uh, additional work. Okay. It ensures that everybody starts with the same thing. Uh, after that, you can do sign in and uh, I'm not going to do that just to keep things simple. Sign in and uh, after create an account, then uh, um, you can sign in. So let's go ahead and uh, let's go to full screen mode and uh, start creating. <clears throat> so these tutorials come, you know, so you can uh, review the tutorials. Uh, they're very nice. Um, for my purposes here, I'm just going to close it. By the way, this is a new Scratch version. I believe they call it Scratch 3. And uh, <clears throat> these are basically, it's a drag and drop environment. This is the coding area. These are the kind of like APIs, right? These are the APIs, uh, the functions equivalent, and this is where the action is. Okay, and there are some more controls here. We'll, cut, we'll get to that bit later. So let's see. The, let's do a first program, right? Move 10 steps. There's a cat waiting for action. Move 10 steps, turn 15 degrees. And so that's the motion. Looks. Um, you can see each one is kind of color coded. You can see just to make things uh, interesting. Uh, easy to manage rather um, sound we'll skip the sound for now event control so you can see various type of structures are there and uh, let's say forever so it's kind of like a Lego building block make sure they're kind of uh, together now uh, running this program is as simple as clicking on this here we go of course, you need not to have done the for loop. You can also do it outside and you do it, see. So if you click on it, it runs just once. So just for more excitement, I have put the for loop. So the color code also tells you that where that block came from. That's another uh, interesting thing. So it's a, it's a very exciting environment. Within a minute, you can just get going, right? And uh, there's a flag here. So events, you can see that some flag is clicked. So you can put there on the top. Then you can click on this flag to get going. Okay. Um, so the stop sign always stops everything. Okay. Okay. So you kind of get an idea. Now let's see what else I want to show. Um, Let's start from scratch again. Let me say new. So if I don't if I say new without any saving, we can simply restart. Okay. Um, let's see motion again. Ten steps, and I want to just let's say keep repeating. Keep repeating. So again, I'm trying to keep it simple here. So it goes and kind of tries to hide here. It stops as soon as it goes to the end. You can kind of catch by the tail and do, it keeps going because this code is still running. You can see the highlight around it, right? So now, uh, so obviously we don't want to lose the object. By the way, the objects are called as a sprite here. Um, they have this fancy terms, a sprite and the costumes and all that. I'll get to that in a minute. So. Here we don't want to look, we want this to kind of return from this edge. If you go into motion, you know, right below, set if on edge bounds. So now let's see. Um, let's put it here. So now it's bouncing at the edges. 
but it's really doing this funny move so the students find it very hilarious you know you purposely want to do that you know you don't want to do everything perfect you know perfectionist is not a not a very enjoyable right so okay let's stop here now let's say set rotation style left to right that way you don't go all around so you can see all around is there you know so so now let's see see left right right okay so you can play around with all of all those things let's say don't rotate i haven't even tried before let's see see so no rotation at all you know so it's quite interesting all these things are so that's how this is setting you don't need to do inside the loop no harm if you put inside the loop but you don't need to right okay um one of the thing in scratch 3 what they did is um, yeah they moved a pen to the extensions so that's if you click on this bottom left there's extensions you can play around with other ones i'm just going to cover this pen alone if you click on it immediately pen comes here and uh, pen down right so pen down if you pen down let's go ahead and uh, click on it again now you see the uh, it's drawing with a pen and uh, let's go under motion do a little bit of turn okay then right so so this will go on and uh, let's see the under pen there is the array all used to be called as a clear let's do let's see array all first then start so anytime you want to clear the area okay so who said cats cannot draw you know so you can make very fancy drawings okay so that's how the programs are made in scratch you know you can look at our uh, resource page and uh, um, follow through with this introduction um, let me do just one more uh, example one more very simple example now that uh, uh, we can got introduced to pen okay so one more simple example i would like to do is move steps turn this angle and do forever thing and this operators under operators we have this random in addition to all this math functions we have random so i'm going to do this kind of random steps and of course i want to pen down as well let's see so pen down you do kind of uh, move random little bit steps and turn 15 degrees okay so i call it a scribbling exercise you know so because you're moving randomly a little bit so and of course you can try to do the similar random for uh, for the rotation too let's see uh, this may be a little bit less and also let's start with the array solve in this top and you can move this manually let's see okay so because you're not turning much right so looks quite interesting right okay uh, and you can see kind of uh, it's the same pose right so one thing uh, one thing the system allows is this costume basically it's a multiple poses so you have under costume um, there are two poses right there right there are two poses so you can see leg uh, position is different so you can use a different costumes so different poses basically so inside this we can move to the next costume that's the easiest thing you can do after uh, let's uh, go ahead and try that now um, so you can see the kind of leg movements uh, 
it's actually very nice if when you do the uh, when you walking back and forth this it's actually quite uh, nice let's let's do that let's uh, move over uh, and uh, do that exercise go back to that one move 10 steps what are the things we did costumes ah uh, not there looks next costume and um, back here um we found a bounce rotation style we want control and forever and control okay so move uh, we want to kind of change their pose we found a bounce yeah that should be good so there you go you know very busy walking cat okay so so hopefully that provides a pretty good introduction so let's see let's see whether we can add uh, more sprites uh, sprite as a library let's see upload sprite no uh, so see a backdrop so see, i'm just going to click on this so you have uh, tons of sprites so let's see whether another animal cat flying wow beetle um sure let's try beetle so beetle is here you, so you can see it's added here and let's go back to sprite let's uh, let's go ahead and this in the, the cat let's go ahead and put the uh, put the f uh, flag okay that way we can control everything with the flag i'm going to try drag this code and put it in beetle so now beetle also will have code see the same code is uh, in the beetle too you can adjust if you want the position right okay now both of them are controlled by flag i can press on this flag okay so parallel activity you know parallelly things run parallelly okay so i guess beetle does not have the multiple poses i guess we can check we can go to beetle costumes yeah that's only one that's why the doesn't position doesn't change and let's say for whatever reason let's say you don't want a cat oh, right there is a x okay there used to be a problem to remove there you go it's gone okay you can put any sprite here any object here and you can you saw you can copy paste and uh, one more thing i want to show you is in case let's say you want to, there's no costumes i want to remove this line right you can remove that put it here and you want to clean it up you simply drag it outside the area i think you can drag this side too and uh, boom it's gone okay i hope this gives you a really good introduction and uh, it's very intuitive how to sign in and save it and all that links and i will leave that to you okay thank you so much